Alright guys, and welcome back to more Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. We return once again, and we have to return to Iowa Park, and we have to actually head there. And I, what I noticed, Kasuya is actually out of our party for what happened last time, and what we want to do real quick. It's a good thing I didn't give him a stoma. <laughs> I gave Nate a stoma, thank God. Thank God for that. Uh, Storm is not gonna work right here. We gotta wait until we get into a dungeon. I healed. There's a few things I think we can do right now, but I think I'm gonna wait until we get Kasuya back in our party because I don't want to grind. I, I said I was just going. I said to myself off camera, I, I might as well just grind a little bit more. I'm getting tired. It's it's almost like the end of the day. I've been sitting here playing this game all day, just about for about four hours. I want to say. I wouldn't say all day. It's just been four hours. I consider that to be all day because it gets dark quick now since daylight savings is uh it's kind of uh, I think it's daylight savings is over with I believe so everybody if you talk to everybody here they're talking about how everybody should be positive and whatever um this one thing we can do I just it, it hasn't clicked with me yet You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go to Iowa Park. <laughs> we gotta go to the concert hall. It shouldn't take us too long to get there. It should be fairly easy to get there, as long as we got a stoma. Alright, let's get through this. It's gonna be a little bit it's gonna be a little bit of a walk, but we should we should do this. It's February, so this dragon is compatible with that. Oh, so it's actually February in the game time. My grandson was saying something about fortune telling. So this game actually takes place in February. All right, so let's get the hell out of here. We have to head to the concert hall. We can't go there before because it was a security guard in our way. I don't think I ever showed that on camera. There we go, gateway. And did we have to head northeast, I believe? Pretty sure it's northeast. Oh my goodness, um, if only there was a way to zoom out a little bit. Next area. Whatever. Wait, you know what I can do? I can do this. What am I thinking? We gotta go up, right there. We gotta go through there. What that, you see what the square is with the open hole? We gotta go north. Once we turn left, we just go straight up. Like so, and we'll be good. I wonder if the enemies actually changed it, so I'll run into a battle here just to see. Oh, the enemies did change up here. What level are they? 29. Let's try contacting him with Nate. Oh, they should like Nate. Commenting on the country's future. To have equality with those countries who like me. Oh, he's wife and bluff, I guess. The education system is waning. Nice. Oh, he can't make a contract with Nate because Nate is on a very low level. That sucks. Had I known Nate was going to join our party, I probably would have waited before I grinded so hard. Oh, well. So we are fighting new enemies here. And we got to go to the northeast. Yep, so we got to go... Make a, we gotta go north a little bit, make a turn, make another turn, and keep going left, and then go right all the way up. I got this. I got this. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. What can we do here? Lens Baku! 
Nate might get us killed. Cause how slow he is. Damn, we didn't even do a lot of damage. Wow. Maya took them all out. Damn. Damn. Let's have Balfu talk to him. Ah, it works. I, it can cook meals using you. <laughs> you intend to eat me. <laughs> 40 turret strength cards. Sweet. And we got experience because we fought them before. Oh my god, they gave us some mad experience. If I had killed everybody, that was a guaranteed 1,000. If I had the light dragon equipped, that was 2,000 experience points. This would have been a great farming point. And they already fought like the rare demon here. His name was Palpi or something, or Nata. I already fought him. I fought him the first time I was here. Lance Baku. Like, ooh la la. Or Maya by herself does like mad damage. Mm. Look at that. Did I overdo it? God damn. By herself. Even more vitality, more defense, basically. More defense and HP. She already has like tech all the way to fuck high. Like I like doing that. Focusing on one on one stat and then focusing on another later. Cause you'll get that stat high enough to where you'll do like ridiculous amounts of damage. And then you should just focus on like defense later, I guess. So who wants to have their face smashed in? It makes battles a lot easier. IMO. IMO in my opinion. There we go, Lance Baku. They be getting hurt. Uh, uh, uh. Who's next? Wow, he didn't do anything. I think he tried to hit somebody, but somebody died. Uh, GG. Yep, GG. All that SP Maya got. God damn. That's what happens when you focus on one stat. The most important stat of the game, in my opinion. For Maya, at least. For Maya's sake. Uh oh. Looks like Sue is just ahead of us. Man, that guy. You can't handle being a gumshoe, believing people that easily. He said you can't handle being a gumshoe. <laughs> just like Detective Dick Gumshoe from Phoenix. I guess that's a, uh, I guess that's a pun. Dick Gumshoe. I didn't realize what a gumshoe meant, but just, just the way Balfour used the word gumshoe right there. I guess it makes sense now. Let's throw on a stoma here. We don't even you don't ever need to see Trish. Like you you don't ever need to use her unless you're like really, really hurting. Really, really bad. Oh yeah, I like the vibrations you get. Like when there's another persona user around. Alright, so this is what I'll do. Save over this file. And then next time I'll I'll probably save over that third file and just in case I need to do something or I missed a chance to activate a rumor, I'll redo it off camera. But doing it on camera it's not fun. It's not fun, dude. I just wanna get through this game as clean as possible and have as much fun as along the way. I don't wanna spend forever amounts of time on this game. It's open! He went inside here? Damn it, one of these days Sue was going to get himself into real trouble. Of course, he's a damn police officer. Kind of asking for trouble, you know? Secret agent man. I can't ask for you to believe me, but I wasn't informed about the attack. The organization does not trust me. 
Oh, look at this. This was the guy we met earlier, wasn't it? Sneak? If you want to shoot, go ahead. But can you at least listen to my story? I want to atone for the sin I've committed. So Tagashi will sneak. I knew I'd seen his face before. I just can't tell. Here, let me explain. The New World Order is an organization that worships a godlike figure called Gozen. You at least heard of Kiyota, Kiyotada Sumaru, that's right. A shogun warrior who used to rule this land during the Civil War. 20 years ago, when Hanmaru Park was built, they unearthed Kiyotada's mummy. Wow, Kiyotada. The top leaders of the organization were responsible for the park's construction. Until then, they were just a small local company, but now they are big enough to move this country. All because of Kiyo Tada's strong curses. Oh my god. They claim to be able to hear voices. They worship the mummy and plan to destroy the entire world outside of Sumaru to create a utopia. The return of the mummy! That's foolish. What are they trying to accomplish? To them, the entire world is a sin. An innocent world is created by one tribe, a tribe with one universal utopian ideal. The eradication of sin by punishment. The spreading of jokes and fortunes are solely for that uh, purpose. I said pulpish. <laughs> that is such arrogance. Sure, man commits sin, even grave sins. But shouldn't there be atonement? Yeah, rada, 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 rada. One must atone for one's rada, being the rada. Shit, we rada, rada, rada. Anyone? Rada, 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 rada. <laughs> the problem is their willpower. Since ancient times, man has prospered by watching or sometimes controlling it. They are going to use the dragon for the contrary purpose. The dragons hate Kegere. Kegare. Kegare. Natural disasters causing the poles of the world to shift will knock the earth off its axis, destroying the world. Pole shift? That's impossible! That's the purpose of the jokers that would destroy the new or the new world order itself. That is nonsense. They plan to elevate the entire city with an ancient spaceship called Tori Fune while watching the entire process unfold. New world order wants to destroy the world. <laughs> the Tori Fune is already made real by rumor. Now no person can stop their rumors. The only way is to defeat Sudo and Gozen. Betrayal would be distressing, Chief, so we gotta destroy Shimazu and uh, Gozen. Fucking idiot. I knew this guy was evil. Plus, this is the second time. First, your best friend, and now us. His best friend was his dad. Your father was an excellent officer. Ten years ago, he was this close and closing in on Tetsuya Sudo. He never figured a friend would betray him. A best friend teaming up with the criminal's father to fabricate charges. Ah, 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 ah. He's right, I betrayed your father. I knew that this would happen ever since I heard that his son was in the police academy. I knew all along you became a cop to prove your father's innocence. And to gain back the family bond which I had destroyed. But I at least believe this, your father was a very proud man. He accepted the false accusations in order to protect both me and his family. Captain, I have already revealed the organization's information to a trusted source. A place not infected by Suda. Eventually our existence will be revealed to the public. No more games. Ehehe! <laughs> oh, you foolish man! This is all intent! Kutodama's revelation takes precaution. A story won't become a rumor if it's too unrealistic. We need realism and publicity too. 
For that, we must make the public aware of our existence. Permissive Howard, you have advertised us very well. You bastard, you think you're an enforcer? Oh, headshot! Chief! Chief! Because <laughs> Jack Bauer evolved into Batman. <laughs> God damn it! Damn it! <laughs> For you, Miss Amano. Bent, bent, bent. Yeah, throw that gun on the ground, motherfucker. We got your ass. Tell us what Tezuo is. Maya's got a really itchy trigger finger, so don't mess with her. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna summon personas. Nice, we got the whole crew back. So you know what? This is what I'll do. I'll lance, I'll lance spark with those guys. And Maya will just Maha Aquez and Kasuya will pretty much do this, will follow suit with Ma, uh, Maha Garula or Maha Garala <laughs> Garala, Garula. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's two Saturday Nine crews. I said Saturday Nine. What the hell? Is that gonna hit the other two too? I don't know. We should just focus on one group of people, Maha Garuda. And if we need to, we can heal. Land Spaku hits everybody. <laughs> Nate got affected, son of a bitch. God damn! What the fuck? Do you see this nonsense? We need to do at least some kind of fucking damage. Well, Maya can deal the damage a little bit. We need to get Kasuya back up. Oh my god. He took mad damage. So you know what? Let me look at my personas real quick. One, of, I have a few personas that are weak or strong against every physical type attack, and that's gonna be really good for this battle. So Balfu, I can't even scroll. I gotta go through each one doing this. Definitely don't want to equip do strong against physical. So we might want to put somebody on that one if we want to. Jill water. Void all physical except sword. Yo, he is set. Yo, he is set for life. Iris, weak against wind, hold Toe. Weak against shot. Oh, he's weak against shot. We gotta get him off of that persona. What about Nata? That's why he took so much damage. Like, I was wondering, like, that didn't make no sense. Maya Custom should be good. So, okay. He was the only person that took that much damage because, well, he was weak against it. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, Baofu is next to Axe. Or, ooh la la is. So, what we'll have her do. We'll have her restore Kitsuya with an instance of life. Maya will attack the four soldiers again. There we go. He's back up. And it immediately back out. Immediately back out. Now switch him away from the persona. So if, if they do attack before he can actually change his persona, we'll have his persona switched away. So it's a good thing we can switch it right away. Uranus. 
John. G yeah, I think I might switch it to that, but if I switch him to that, Maha Garula. Oh, he also has Maha Garula, so that's good. So, Firo only has Garula. Yeah, let's get him off of that. Let's put him to Tyrannus. So that's a good thing that we're doing that. Maya will attack everybody regularly. I'm, go I'm gonna see what they do after Maya attacks. Look at that, Maya's doing pretty good single-handedly. Okay, he's gonna take a lot of damage. Yep, he boys all physical damage. I completely forgot about the additional perks personas give you. That's what that's my fault for completely forgetting about that. So I was getting my ass whooped without even knowing that I could have done something about it. Cause I forgot some personas are weak against certain moves. It's just they lay out like uh Ugh. I will use Baofu for a fusion spell. Velose did a few maybe? Maximum Tempest? Yeah, that's Maximum Tempest. Nate is still asleep. Yo, we should do some damage. For the love of the country. Yo, he's constantly trying to put that man to sleep. <laughs> Oh my god! Whatever. Oh, and she attacks the other dude! Did a lot of damage though. I'm so mad at that. Well, Baofu can literally win this fight by himself. If you think about it, it's just gonna take a long time, but as long as they keep trying to shoot him or hit him with physical spells, Baofu's got this in the bag. It's just these annoying ass fucking tricks. So this is what I'll do. Maya will just go ahead and attack with Ma uh, Maha Aquas. Fuck it. Why not? Why not? Let's order her to go second. Oh, reset, reset. I have I have to have them act so they can at least have a chance of getting out of them uh getting out of uh sleep. So instead of having Balfour attack, I have him use a gem on Nate. Since Nate is literally the only one taking damage. <laughs> they are immune to nerve damage, so that's good. Maya is still doing crazy amounts of damage though, so that's good. She's doing good amounts of damage. Kasuya, that'd be good if you could wake up. For the love of the country. <laughs> Yo, like Baofu is ready. Baofu is ready for this shit. Baofu is straight ready for this fucking fight. He was not playing games. He was like, man, I got this bulletproof fucking vest all over my body. Even if you get a headshot, it's not gonna matter, cause my damn persona is protecting my head. Yo, this is it. Like Maya and Balfour's got the rest of this fight. They don't really need to do anything, but attack. Persona. Persona. <laughs> it's over. It's not gonna work on Balfu or Maya. Heads or tails. Ugh, flicking quarters at you, bro! That's all they're gonna try to do is try to put us on their status ailments. Thank God for these personas. Like, these personas we got are just so helpful. Look at this! Falfu says, fuck your bullshit. Fuck your SMTBS. Fuck that shit. Alright, hopefully we can kill at least one of these guys with this next attempt. Come on. Alright, so I'm gonna need Balfu to heal if he can. Actions, Balfu will heal. Jim, la la. It's a good thing I got at least two personas that can deal with that bullshit. Like, seriously. 
He's like, man, what the fuck are you doing? Triple down, huh? <laughs> How are they still asleep? I'm guessing sleep stacks in this game. Oh yeah, one of them motherfuckers out. Oh yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Persona! Persona! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We coming for that motherfucker now. He put half the team to sleep, but we still got him because our personas was fortunate enough to be able to deal with the bullshit. So Balfour has Parker on, who literally voids every physical except for sword. Thank God none of them has a sword, and Maya voids nerve in mind, so she can't fall asleep in bullshit. And then Maya does massive amounts of fucking damage. So that was a really good setup right there. So that was really good. Really played out. I wasn't prepared for that, but it was a good thing that I had a variety of fucking personas ready. Just in case some bullshit like this happened. Now, look how many fucking... Look how many... Different... Fusions I got unlocked. That's insane. But you know what? Zama, this guy. We will Meteorama. See what he does. Oh, uh, 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 how dare you put me to sleep? Uh, 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 this bitch hits hard! <laughs> Zama! Go. Go. Now they're waking up since they're not getting spammed hypnotic wave on. Yeah, I gotta keep him away from the gunshot weakness persona. Like he got towed up by that. I didn't realize it. You know what? I'll probably fuck this guy up. Let's do maximum tempest. Ooh la la. You can just yeah, it's just whoop his ass. Cleanse the world. Cleanse the world. <laughs> Let's get this over. Get out of here. 311. Not much. Uh, 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 uh. What up, Nate? Man, Nate, get your what your sleepy head ass up. Like, oh my goodness. This is not a game. This is not a game, bro. Alright, Maya can attack fine by herself. Ooh la la. Can just attack, I guess. You know what? We would want to, probably want to team up with somebody. Maha. Gorilla, Gorilla. Wind Cutter, maybe? We should have like two people team up. If Maya attack by herself, we'll probably do more damage that way anyway. Sharp Boulder. Balfu, Ulala, Suya. Yep, he's good. Yep, we're good. Boom! Give it up! Give it up! You can't win! Oh no! A shark boulder just came up my ass! Oh! Ciao! <laughs> Ciao! Ciao, bro! Look at that, we did 380 damage. That's 400. Yep, 400 right there. Shark Boulder. Right, do it again. Nate needs to wake his ass up, man. What is Nate Dog doing? Smoking all that weed. That's what it does. Sleeping. Uh, hit him for 180 again. Two, two, damn. Two ten. Go. Mm, hitting him. Go. Yeah, we're done. We won. If worse came to worse, Balfu was gonna win. Balfu was just literally gonna be spamming whatever he needed to spam to win this fight. <clears throat> Sharp Boulder. Let's get this over. Uh, you don't like a spear getting up your ass, do ya? Uh, can we get another 210? Or at least 208? 202 is good. That's some damage. 
We gotta heal. Nate, wake your ass up, bro! Oh my god, like, this is why I hate added status elements in this game. Like, they're so fucking bad. Like, it's so bad. Unless he, unless his damn persona is, like, literally weak against fucking nerve or, or mind, uh, type shit like that. That's the only way I can see why he's sleeping so long, but, hey, whatever. Shark boulder, and then if they don't kill her, kill this guy right here, what I'll do is actually... Kill ooh la la before she gets taken out. Wow, what a bitch. That's cool, I backed off anyway, so I can heal, uh... Daofu. That's what it does, I got infinite amounts of money, bro. Dude, you think this is a fucking game? You think this is a fucking game? It's not, I don't think I even contacted this guy. Hold on, before we end the battle here, let's contact him. Troubles, Sergeant. <laughs> Shimazu, you are about to Thank die. You your Shut your fat head Sergeant. ass up, man. <laughs> Captain Chuckles. Alright, dude is about to get raped. Alright. Alright, I guess everybody else can do the same thing. Yep. Can Nate please wake up? Whoop this fucking ass. Whoop that motherfucker's ass. Motherfucker Shimazu. Shit talker Shimazu is what we should call him. Shit talker Shimazu got his ass whooped. He couldn't put two people to sleep. That was his whole gimmick. Put them to sleep and shoot them. But guess what? We have personas that nullify shot damage and all physical type of damage and nerve and mind damage. So he got fucked up because he, he didn't know. He wasn't ready for our persona. He wasn't ready for that ass whooping. I won't let you die as a public servant. It was to create an innocent world. Am I not wrong? Yes, you're a piece of shit. Chief Togashi! Kisuya, forgive me, I was foolish. Please stop them. I don't know how I'm surviving after a headshot like that. Yes, sir. Their hideout is... And of course he dies right before he says anything. You motherfucker, you couldn't write it out in your blood? God damn it. Come on, say it, Balfu. You were right and I was wrong. I let myself fall into the trap. Now is not the time. The old man paid his dues. You show respect for a man. Let's get back to my place. We have to figure out Tazuo's next move. Let's go! They was playing Maya's theme. Do 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 do. So the New World Order. Who are these guys? Who are these guys? Who do they think they are? The fucking New World fucking Order. Let's go to Balfour's Lair to end this video off. I put in some time in this game. I got at least six or seven or eight parts recorded. It just started going off. What is happening? I tapped Tazuo's phone. Either he's either his home or office. I've tapped most phones the bastard should be using. Of course, I can't do diddly about cell phones and public phones. I had to burp a little bit. So that's why my voice sounded kind of weird. Shimazu and Togashi are dead. They did it. That leaves less work for us. Young Pao's voice. I see. Young Pao! Young Pao! That guy must have been spying on us. I want to get reward. I was promised. You released brother yet? <laughs> I forgot he speaks Chinese. Don't worry. He's already in the country on a tourist visa. He's got money too. So don't worry. I see. I see. I decide location. 
We need money to Conan District Abandoned Factory. Oh, we gotta go back to the abandoned factory, son. You come alone. No tricks. You are very cautious. Very well. The promise was to accept all deals. See you then. So we gotta go to the factory. This is our chance to nail Tazuo's ass. He'll never see us coming. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Look at Nate. Nate dog. Nate dog. I'm going ahead to check things out. So we just lost Balfu. Hey. It's a trap, bro. Don't you know it's a trap, Balfu? They know you tapped all his phones. It's exactly what they want you to think. Oh my god. Mr. Ninjo. Mr. Ninjo. There's something I would like to check. Check his in. Balfu's in. I understand. I will try. Pole shift. That thing with the Earth's axis will spin 90 degrees? If that happens, the whole world would rain for days, floods, tsunamis, tsunamis, volcanoes, and earthquakes, every kind of disaster. And unless they are airborne, most people won't survive. How could they use the wing long for such a thing? How could they? Maya, he just went alone. It's too dangerous alone. We got to go after him. The factory is just behind our place. He left our party, didn't he? Of course he fucking did. God damn it. Balfu, who told you to leave our party? I did not condone this. So another boss. Ooh, look at this conference room. Oh man, what the K. See you then. Tazuwa Soto, the current foreign minister. Who is also the top executive of the New World Order? To Suisono! Top executive of the New World Order! New World Order! The NWO! <laughs> Pale faced man, hard to believe that these are the actions of a person raising an innocent world. I'm saying it's quite a task. Hmm. Juno Sugawara. Hostile leader of the 15th Division of the Civil Defense Force and director of NWO. He seems to be ill and looks very pale. Why doesn't he just spread a rumor that the General Sugawara is very healthy? Why, why don't they abuse that and make themselves better? <laughs> no need for insults. Is it ready? Is it complete? It should be a good test for X1. Excuse me. A wolf in sheep's clothing. A new world order executive. The plan is going smoothly as of now. The uncertain aspect is the existence of the paradox. And they're talking about Tezuo, or Tetsuya Sudo, aka Kaido Izumi. Why is that obstacle left alone? And what is this paradox? Honestly, Gozen's ideas lately are. Watch your mouth. We are in front of Gozen. Gozen. There's only Gozen. What is this ghoul? I only know Gozen. My voice is like dying, bro. I need like some cough drops. Gozen's ideas are far beyond our comprehension. We must all accomplish our duties. Get it? I made it funny. We all gotta take a shit sometime. Cause we're all full of shit and we need to take duties to get rid of this shit so we can you know not be full of shit you know what i'm done i'm done my jokes went over your head i'm done i'm done i had enough i had enough the fuck is this guy's problem his joke wasn't even that funny is that shizuru that is shizuru long wing long wing shizuru Who is the most sinful? Elders driven by ambition. A human that causes a chaos to be chaos, or is it? Blah, 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 blah. We only know Gozen. Mummy called Gozen.
What the heck? That was a kind of weird transition. That was a scary ass transition, dude. So let's get to the abandoned factory. You know what? I'm gonna save the game first. Let's save the game, take a short break, and once we come back, we will go back to the abandoned factory. I didn't expect to beat that boss so quick. <laughs> 